Agatha Lorani, her nine-month-old baby, Perola, and cousins have been sleeping on a sidewalk in Copacabana for the last two months. They don't have enough money to buy food. It all started after I was fired from a shopping mall job. Now I'm selling candles for Christmas until I find another job so I can get off the streets. Despite a recent drop in unemployment, there are still about 13 million unemployed Brazilians and many more are sliding below the poverty line. After a dramatic decline in poverty under the Workers' Party, Brazil was removed from the UN hunger map in 2014. But there are concerns now that it could be reinstated. Now an NGO has partnered with the UN to help collect more than 500 tons of food by the end of December in an initiative called Christmas Without Hunger. We have something that we look each day on the communities that we attend in all of Brazil. And what they say is that they don't want more culture, they don't want more education as they would have like two, three years ago. They want food. That's what they want now. It is, say the campaign organizers, an effort to raise consciousness among Brazilians before the problem gets worse. People living in the streets is just one of the signs of Brazil's return to poverty. To blame, economists say, is the country's deep recession, high unemployment and cuts in social programs. Oh, no food items. According to a study released in June by Brazil's prestigious Getulio Vargas Foundation, poverty is on the rise again. After a long period of a sharp poverty fall and continues, for example, 2004, uh, uh, poverty reached 25% of the Brazilian population. It went down to 8%. And in the last two years, went back to 11.2%. So around 5.5 million people re-entered poverty. Agatha is one of the 22 million Brazilians living below the poverty line. In the meantime, the government insists on implementing unpopular austerity measures in order, it says, to put the economy back on track. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.